There are currently more single people in the UK than there have ever been before. My love life is atrocious. I'm single. I've been single since... Are people so obsessed with physical perfection that they can't find love? Perfect guy for me would be tall, dark, blue eyes. That, that's, the, that's the look I go for. For the first time ever, there is now a place blind to stereotypes and appearance, where people can get to know each other for how they really are. It's called Animal House. The reason I've gone for an owl is because I live for the night and I'm a bit of a wild child. <laughs> I've chosen the dog. They're quite loyal, but they're also quite sort of flirtatious and playful. Yes, man's best friends, so why can't it be women's? In Animal House, guests are free to walk, talk, and even touch each other. Donkey had his hand on my leg at one point. <laughs> no! Yeah! I was like, hang on a minute. I think, oh god, they're already going on what you're saying, the questions you're answering. <laughs> it's not good. I come across like a money grabbing bitch. <laughs> she went for rich. She went for rich because. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good yeah. one. She went for, I didn't think it was particularly good either. Everything I said, I was trying to think, hold on a minute, is this reflecting who I am? Is this, you know, the sort of person that I want to sort of give over to these, these girls? Like heavy metal, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's not for me. Um. The guests are also given the opportunity to compete in tasks to win dates in the real world. Hooray! This is, this is really so sweet. <laughs> This was obviously it's our first date and we're still getting to know each other. He did ask me what the future was between us. A future? Between the, I think you need to slow down a little bit there, Duncan. Really? I'm not quite sure how into me she is. Sorry, I haven't, I haven't put you off, have I? Well, because you talk about sex a lot. <laughs> yeah, I haven't put you off. I hope <laughs> I haven't put you off. At the end of your stay, there's just one question. Will your chosen animal pick you back? I was the lion, and I chose the raccoon. I think it really affects how I, how I end up dating. In a situation like this, you know, so much detail is analysed by each person about what they talk about, even as much as how they say it. I thought the raccoon would be big, but she wasn't. I don't know why I thought that. I guess you can talk to people, find out what each other are about without it just being about looks. This just shows that really you've got to go on personality, and looks can be deceiving.